Hi, my name is Phil Gardner and welcome to Fun With Boxes. Today we're going to take a look at For Northwood. For Northwood is a solo hand management trick taking game from Willem Sue and published by Sideroom Games. Founded in 2017, Sideroom Games is focused on getting print and play games from new designers out into the community and making published versions of these games to reach a broader audience. I did not realise it, but we own quite a few of their games, such as Black Sonata, Fallen Angels, Orchard and Grove, among one or two others. But hang on a minute, you may be saying to yourself, but Phil, did you say a solo trick-taking game? Yes, I did. A solo trick-taking game. How intriguing, I thought, when I first saw this and backed it on, I believe, GameFound. And I would not mind betting that a few of you are equally intrigued at the thought of this being a solo game. Your objective in the game is to peacefully unify the Kingdom of Northwood through conversations with their rulers. Over eight rounds you must visit eight animal thieves and engage their rulers in dialogues that are called tricks. Wait, thieves you say? <laughs> No, no, not thief. Thief. Um, okay, a quick history lesson. Okay, so let's try that again. Over eight rounds, you must visit eight animal thieves and engage their rulers in dialogues, known as tricks with each of the rulers requiring you to win an exact number of tricks for it to join your alliance, ranging from zero to seven. Each ruler's suit represents that particular trump for the thief, and there are four suits in this game. Claws, flowers, leaves and eyes. You also start the game with four allies, each with an ability that you can use once per visit. These abilities can make you draw, discard or otherwise manipulate your hand to help you hit the target trick score. Once you've won a ruler over, you can pull them in to substitute temporarily for one of your four allies if you need a more specific set of abilities to tackle the harder thieves, as each ruler you win over has abilities you can use. Let's take a look at the components, shall we? The game comes with 65 cards. 32 dialogue cards valued 1 to 8 in the four suits. 24 character cards, 6 of each suit with 12 cards marked with a crown that are not used in the introductory game. There is one visiting card with an arrow on the front and a score chart on the back. And finally, 8 thief cards numbered 0 to 7 with victory points valued from 1 to 4 stars on each of the cards. There is also, of course, a rule book and an advanced challenge booklet called The Noisier which is a scrapbook belonging to Lady Duck. This game is just so adorable. Setup. This is for the introductory game and I would highly recommend that you do not skip this. Give this a few goes before playing the full game. Place the eight thief cards in order, in a row in front of you, starting with zero and ending with seven. Set aside the 12 character cards with the crown icon. These are not used in the introductory game. Place the remaining four jack cards in a row under the thieves to represent your starting allies. Shuffle the remaining queen and king cards to randomly deal one to each thief to represent the thief's ruler. Place them on the thief card so that they are not covering the number at the bottom of the card. Place the visiting card somewhere above the thief row, arrow side up, pointing down. Shuffle the 32 dialogue cards and place this deck under your allies. Leave space either side of the deck for a discard pile and a score pile. Draw eight cards from the deck to form your hand and you are ready to go. Before we get on to the gameplay, just a quick reminder that my good friends at Rules of Play are offering all my viewers 10% off online purchases. So if you'd like to take advantage of this offer, please use the code which will appear somewhere or will be in the description below and that's rules of play and 10% off and by the way I am not affiliated in any way this is just a code to offer you 
10% off. Thanks. Gameplay. Choose an unvisited thief to visit. Optional. Bring in any friendly rulers you may have won from previous visits to temporarily substitute for one of your allies. Play out the dialogue with the chosen thief's ruler to try to hit their target score. If you exactly meet the target score at the end of the visit, the ruler is now friendly and you may choose to use these as a substitute to one of your allies on future visits to any other thief. Repeat until you have visited all thieves. I will take you through one or two rounds just for you to get a feel for how the game will play. So let's take a quick look at a visit, shall we? Okay, here we go. Let's uh, pay a visit to one of these thieves. So first we deal eight cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's going to be our hand. That's our deck. We can see we have three, two, two, and one of the suits. Looking at the leaves there, we got a lot of leaves. We could easily win three, but we'd be in danger of perhaps winning a bit more than three, and we've got to win the exact amount of tricks. So let's have a bit of a gamble and let's go and visit the king of eyes so we have our cards here our allies that we can use at the beginning of every turn um, but for now let's play and see so first card that is a one of eyes which is the tramps well we can beat that so that's one towards the four. Okay, let's draw the next card. Okay, so we can win that one. So now we've got two and we only need to win two more. Okay, let's have a take a look. So we got the five. Oh, we've won that one. So we won three. We only want to win one more. So let's have a look at the next card and oh dear we've won that one as well so now we do not want to win any more cards this allows us to draw more cards if you're holding fewer than eight cards draw cards until you have eight cards in hand but we don't want to draw any more cards because we've already uh, won our four tricks we don't want to win any more tricks so exchange the ruler on the fifth year visiting with a neutral ruler up to two fiefs away could possibly look at doing that discard all cards that match the current ruler suit so we could do that let's uh let's do that then so we'll discard that card um, let's hope we don't draw one of these okay so that's a six so we can get rid of the seven there let's go for a gamble that's the one we can't meet that one so we get rid of that one and that's four we can't match that one so we get rid of that one and we've got the four tricks that we needed so we would move that down there to show now that we've got that to use for any future uh, turns we can what we can do is use him instead of any of these but if we do use him and we don't use him in the game he goes out to play then so we want to make sure uh, we want to put him in place of one of these allies uh, and make sure that we are going to use him otherwise we will lose him with three difficulty levels 24 rulers 12 use per game and a 16 scenario challenge booklet for northwood offers many many hours of gameplay with a new puzzle every time. I've only played it a few times and I've just scratched the surface of it and I know I've got many 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 hours of game time left. So a hearty recommendation from me. Thanks very much for watching and as always please take care.